In this video, I'm going to discuss the path panel over here on the right hand side. This is how you can go ahead and manipulate different shapes together to do things like grouping, cutting, things like that, that are very important when you're combining shapes for CNC production on say a vinyl cutter or a laser. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm just gonna draw a couple basic shapes to show you what I'm talking about. So here I have a box and then we'll go ahead and draw a circle. So I have a box and I have a circle and I'll go ahead and I'll make these two different colors so you can see them uh, on top of each other here. Okay, so inside this path window, notice how everything's grayed out because you have to have two shapes selected to use it. This section down here, unite, subtract, intersect, and exclude, those are really powerful when you want to manipulate things. So for example, if I want to merge these two shapes, my my box and my circle into one, I can click Unite. And now it went ahead and it grouped them together into one shape. So if I were to go ahead and just make this bigger like that, and again hit Unite after selecting both shapes, and now turn them into one shape. Intersect goes ahead and it cuts out everything except for wherever it was intersecting. Subtract kind of does the opposite. So what it did is just, just cut the top shape away from the bottom shape. And exclude cuts out the overlapping part. So whatever is kind of the inside overlapping. These different functions, again, are great if you're going to combine shapes for CNC production or if you just want to create some type of interesting design. This compound path function down here, if you already have a compound path, so if something's already grouped together, you could push split, then go ahead and have these two separate shapes. Or if I back it up a little bit before they are grouped together, and if I hit join, it kind of groups them into a single path. They are still two separate shapes. Notice how when I hover over them, they haven't done what Unite does here, so it's not grouped together. They're just a single Path. So the lines are kind of merged and connected. If I were to go to this coffee mug design here, this is an excellent example. To assemble this coffee mug, what I actually have, and I'm going to ungroup it, is I have this white fill, these white boxes, on top of this dark blue coffee mug here. So it appears as though it's cut out, but it's not actually. And if I were to put a box behind this coffee mug, so if I just arrange this to the back, and if I were to make this box just some type of bright color here, so it's clear to see, they aren't holes going through the coffee mug. They're just these white boxes on top. If I were to actually select my coffee mug and go to the path window and hit exclude, it actually cuts out those white holes to then make the coffee mug transparent, which again is excellent if you're going to recreate something like this on the CNC machine.